It was so, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, yeah, that yeah, yeah, move yeah. we did, man, we used to have a moving company. That's how we got started, right? So, we was moving all oh, over America. Oh, y'all start this year? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute, because this shit ain't official. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the black market. 85 South Show presents the black market, man. And once you hear the bell, you know that the black market is open, man. We got some, we got some entrepreneurs in here with us today. Some best friends. They go way back. I'm talking about they go way back like a recliner seat. <laughs> Second grade, man. Yeah, man. Uh, we got the owners and founders of Slim and Huskies in here with us today, man. Man, introduce yourself. Appreciate you, where I got my side notes right here. I'm okay. gonna show you tell them everything on this paper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm Mo, D Mo. Uh, Derek you know, Moore. One third. <laughs> so, yeah. you doing? One, third one third of uh, Slim Huskies, man, from Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, born and raised, man. Uh, TSU grad, Tennessee State. Gotta make it right. Tennessee State University grad, man. Uh, yeah, man. Just from the field, man. Just a, just a young nigga trying to. Keep getting it. You yeah, are, man. man. We're yeah, proud man. Of you. Appreciate it, man. So, okay. Proud of y'all, man. Go ahead, Clint. Man, Clint Gray. Um, straight Clinton. out the field. <laughs> Gray. The third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, you know my family kind of got my whole name. But yeah, Clint Gray, man, straight out the field. CMO, one third of the best company in the world. And EJ Reed. The third. Uh, it, it, I don't have his. Uh, <laughs> you don't have it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But EJ Reed. Uh, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yeah. Emmanuel Jermaine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. EJ, though, um, complete the trio of Slim Huskies. Slim of the Slim Huskies. My two uh, compadres right here, the Huskies. So. Y'all grew up shopping in the Husky section. Man, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. They got rid yeah. of Husky now. That's, it's gone. It's, it's uh, not business. politically correct. Nah, Y'all can't do that. Yeah, man. Nah, hold on, hold on, time out. Not you. Are nah, you that's what I'm saying. So one of us, one, one of them was doing some bullying now. Oh, hold husky, on. Who? <laughs> Man, he say, uh, he say I choked him out in the second grade. I don't yeah, remember. That's how we got cool, man. You got to get cool with somebody to choke him out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did, but I was playing, though. You know what I'm saying? It was like, hey, man, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I mean? He yeah, right. yeah. yeah. almost went to sleep, bro. Nah, I didn't. In college. Bro, see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, just same, same shit, bullshit. Sorry, we bullshit. sitting there blowing, we chilling, getting ready to go out. Think about it. You sitting here smoking, a nigga just run up behind you and choke you out. Why you smoking? Why you smoking? Come on, man. I don't know how you stay friends. He's terrible at it. It was the love, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how I showed my love to my dog. Like, what the fuck you doing, man? You know what I mean? You got to do that, man. Yeah, man. You man, tell what? everybody how this all came about. Okay, you talking about? Man, so we all knew each other, got the TSU, roommates. You know how it is, you be with your homies talking about how much money you're gonna make and shit. <laughs> we were graduated. Man, we did everything except what the fuck we was talking about in college, man. He went and got a job, I went and got a job, he went and got a job. Mo moved to be a traffic control, air traffic control in Michigan. Got homesick. Kyle back and was like, man, what the fuck are we doing, man? It's time to get active. So he moved back. We started a moving company, $3,000. Everybody put in what they had. Everybody had about 1000 apiece. Man, we took that three grand. Seven years, flipped it to 1.7 mil. Took it. Took it. Three thousand. Three thousand. Well, we started the moving company. Started with zero trucks, just us three. Man, hustling, like living in our mama's houses. Eat bologna every day. Sacrifice. Go from one truck to two truck, two truck to three, zero employees to 50, 20,000 square foot warehouse space. Then we sold that. 
took the money, flipped it, opened up our first restaurant, Slim Huskies. Bro, what was that first piece of like, y'all ate it together? <laughs> <laughs> like, the first one that came out, y'all was like, all right. Nah, so what we did, we, we, we found this building, right? Um, <laughs> north of Nashville, so we call it out north. Um, in Nashville, everything's out east, out south, out west, so out north. Um, man, we, we bought this building um, back in 2015. Okay. And we turned it into a, uh, what we call like our mad science pizza lab. So we bought all our equipment, got with a vendor, got all the product in and just started making pizza. So we like really are self-taught pizza makers. Mm -hmm. None of us, I, like I had never worked in a restaurant. I got some game for you if you want to. I was one of the Domino's star employees. Yeah, yeah. straight took up. Took the whole business, turned it around. <laughs> what yeah. you do? Bro, I started out, you know, just delivering pieces, right? Straight up. And then I showed them, you know, the value in folding these boxes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, bro, I yeah. turned that into a whole side hustle, right? Okay. You know how you at work and you might be fucked up for a little bit yeah. till payday hit, right? Right. So I had it where Domino's was, pay go ahead. Domino's was paying motherfuckers just to come in and fold the boxes. Oh, so man. I'm like, I don't know. For real? Right? showed up in here and turned on a whole nother revenue stream. That's oh, crazy. shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. For sure. But, they, but see, the thing about it, though, is like, I always show them love because that's one of the only places I ever worked that they look out for you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They don't want to see you fucked up. You can go to work literally anytime you fucking feel like it. And they always happy to have you. That's what's up. So if, even if you don't want to come to work and you just want to come and get some pizza, man, you come and fold, <laughs> come fold some boxes. Don't want to look out for you. Hey, look, we ain't that lax now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. But it's just like the transparency. You know how it is when you work for somebody. You can't. You fucked up, you just fucked up. Yeah, true. They just looked out like that. That's love. I hear that. Yeah. It's just dope to see y'all jump out there, and, uh, you know, in a lane that we don't never really get to see a lot of black men in. Yeah, yeah man. man. Especially yeah, with man. this. Why y'all, what made y'all choose pizza, though? Man, we, uh, so we had the moving company. We was just moving around a lot. We was in New York, Chicago, L.A., moving, kicking it at the same time. Right. And, uh, man, we would go to these, be in Brooklyn or whatever, Fort Green or something, man, or, uh, you know, down in Houston or whatever. They had all these, like, neighborhood, like, restaurants that folks, that local, the locals, you know what I'm saying, patronized. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and um, you know, local employees, folks walking to work. So it was like, man, you know, we was tired of moving. We was ready to sell that company, so we sold that company. But... Uh, and we was just like, man, we just gotta bring some cool shit that 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 we'll enjoy into Nashville. Right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm saying <clears throat> that we'll enjoy. I mean, like, young young black dudes, young black women that that they can feel like it's theirs. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like like Sal's on uh, Do the Right Thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like why ain't no brothers on the wall? Right. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like it was that. It was 100% uh, yeah. just that. Like man, we got it on the wall. Come on, man, everywhere. Yeah. At all the stores. Yeah. 100%. Let me request one to put on the oh, cool. that one with Boots and Wavy shooting dice. Alright, for sure. We'll do that in the one in, in Louisiana. In Rouge, yeah, Matt Rouge. Rouge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that was the thing, man. It was like, man, we 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 was tired of that, man. So it's like, man, let's just let's go through that. And then it was like, man, what what Americans like pizza, hamburgers, hot dogs, tacos. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, open up a slim so, Husky's burger? No, sir. Nah, not not right, right now, right man. Now. Mm -hmm. We do a 5 South Show pizza, though, but... Well, nah. we need our own yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 shit. yeah, yeah. So it's like, man, that's how we jumped into it. It's like, man, let's do pizza. Pizza. We was grooving pizza growing up, you know, 80s. Yeah. So so WWF, WCW, you know what I'm saying? WrestleMania parties, Monday mama gonna order pizza. Friday Come on, night, man, yeah. you gonna Friday order night pizza. pizza yeah. You know Monday what I'm saying? Nitro. Yeah, yeah, man. You know what I mean? All that. So that was our thing, man. So it's like, man, we can groove with pizza. So y'all grew with the wrestling? Yeah, oh, yeah. man. Yeah, for sure. Who was your favorite wrestler that nobody gave a fuck about? <laughs> Oh, uh, Bob Backlund, well, nobody gave a fuck oh, about him. Cross face cheese. Cross face cheese. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nobody Ooh. cared about him, but he was. He Man. was the truth. Was everybody fucking with Amaya Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> That was my nigga, man. Oh, we were plunger. You a true wrestling historian, man. Yeah, I go way back, man. Hey. Junkyard dog. Junkyard dog, yeah. Flat Jimmy Snooker. Jimmy Snooker. 
Yeah. In some hotel rooms, I was Jimmy Snooker a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> Jumping from bed to bed. Come on, man. You know what I mean, little bro? Man. Yeah, a lot of people forget he used to do that, that uh, the clock. I don't, I don't know the clock. Hand, he had real big hands, so he would like, claw their face out and they would submit. You don't remember that? No, I don't remember that movie. Uh uh. Yeah, story I'm telling you. Yeah, man. You up on the wrestling shit. Yeah, he used to do the splash. That was his, his yeah. finishing move. Macho Man Randy Savage was. Him and uh, you ain't realize how much shit Macho Man Randy Savage talked. Yes, I did. Uh, yeah. Back then? Boy, as a that, kid? That's why he was always one of my favorites, man. And he came out he with the cheese. He came out with that crazy ass talk. <laughs> Let me tell you something, cheese. <laughs> a lot of people want to see the Macho Man go down this Saturday. <laughs> Let me tell you something. It's not going to happen. Queen Elizabeth right here on my right, the most beautiful woman in the world. Hey, you got it down, bro. Yeah. That was your boy. <laughs> you got it down. What about Ric Flair? Man, Ric Flair. Rick, I didn't realize how much shit Ric Flair talked back then. I wasn't, I was like, man, where the wrestling at? Like, I want to see some right, niggas Rick get Flair. slammed. I wasn't really paying attention to the commentating. The talking and all that. Yeah, man. I'm going to eat my pizza and, 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 and want to see Flair some slam. come out and tell you how much everything he got. Come. You feel me? The shit he got on, he going to tell you. Baby. First of all, these are $3,500 Versace <laughs> shoes. <laughs> these pants are custom tailor made. <laughs> this shirt. Rip the buttons off. $500. <laughs> talking big Talk shit. about the chicks hey, in the yeah. limo man. and shit. Yeah. Man, that nigga told uh, somebody. With Rick Flair talk shit, but he couldn't fuck with the million dollar man Ted DiBiase. Mm -hmm. Ted nah, DiBiase has this this how fucking much we didn't know about shit. Ted DiBiase was so rich, he bought a nigga. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't remember Virgil? Yeah. yeah. This nigga yeah, bought yeah. a nigga. <laughs> Virgil yeah. Golly. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. He did. Yeah. He That's couldn't fuck with him. The million dollar man. The million dollar man. He used to bring yeah, kids yeah, up to the stage and act like he was going to give them $100 and yeah, rip yeah. that shit in hand. <laughs> Terrible motherfucker. Terrible. Hell Horrible. Like. Horrible. <laughs> That's how niggas be feeling sometimes, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, this is for another story. But yeah. You know who don't get enough credit, though? The Undertaker, man. Yeah, he do. Nah, he he gets to get away Yeah, yeah. Oh, that motherfucker yeah, yeah, used to bring yeah, yeah. shit. He was gonna say something like Shawn Michaels or something. Bret Hart? I'd be like, oh, Bret Hart, yeah, but. Bret Hart, well, I'm gonna but take a yeah. enough credit for real. Who? Mick Foley. Oh, shit. Man, oh, can oh. Yeah, no. This yeah. motherfucker almost died five or six times trying to entertain us, man. <laughs> True. As an entertainer, you gotta understand, but this motherfucker True. fractured his Big own skull. Oh, bro. Godly. Yeah, I And he was five man. different people, man. He was. Big Foley, man, can't do love. What's the other cool dude that was uh, Gold Dust? Gold he was Dust. like a Dusty Rose. That's he was wrong, like yeah. 10 different people. Man, Gold yeah. Dust fucked up everybody, man. Like. Just him hitting the scene, like that was a little bit much for a young nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Him and Dal Venus crossed the line. Yeah, they crossed the line. Yeah, yeah. this nigga got all the names. Yeah, this nigga man. The line. Sweet, man. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, I ain't heard none of these names in a minute, bro. Dal Venus was, he definitely crossed the line. Oh, yeah. yeah. I agree with that. I remember like some low budget ass rappers like the Repo Man. No. This whole no, shit. Dude. He used to come out dressed like he was stealing cars, bro. He had like tire tracks on his face and shit. <laughs> nah, Vince McMahon was gonna, gonna try anything. Shit. He was, Vince McMahon had put some bullshit he out there. He was gonna try anything. Yeah, he did. Tugboat. 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 What was the league after WWF went off, though? It was WCW. No, 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 no. Like the, the shit to be at your own town, though, they used to be on. Remember that shit oh, used to come on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh, the, the Mid South Wrestling. Yeah, Mid South Wrestling. Yeah, Jerry Lawler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That shit was love, man. I don't know if kids be experiencing that no more. Nah, they yeah. don't. Piece of parties on Fridays. You know, Saturday, Saturday morning, Saturday wrestling. morning wrestling. With the Royal Rumble yeah. tape, though. Yeah, man. man. Come on, watch about five man, times. Get a hell of whooping before school, motherfucker. Down there, <laughs> they room tearing up some shit, man. <laughs> Jumping off the bed. You know what I'm saying? Down wrestling. Man. Got to put the mattress on the floor. Yeah, I can't even go. believe we were so entertained by this shit, man. We were. I can. Yeah.
But yeah. even it's like now we grown men. It, that's some weird ass shit to be. <laughs> man, we was entertained by the by saying, nostalgia like, of it all. Think about it. Like you as a man, you never about to put no drawers on and all up. And oh yeah, I see what you said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they was wearing drawers, yeah, drawers, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Who put that shit together? <laughs> Some real life like this, man. Yeah. Damn. We That's was in the time, you know. Ultimate War used to come out there. With, that was the wildest nigga. Now world. we grown and know that he was really on cocaine and he was really <laughs> running and doing all of that. All the shit, yeah. <laughs> These motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all of them was on Royce and Coke. You don't watch the documentaries about the WWF now? I don't watch uh, the few. Uh, uh, I ain't man, watch the shit. I don't want to mess up, story, mess up my, my uh... They all fucked up. That's a man wouldn't pay for my hotel room, so I got myself to Minnesota. Like, why would you fuck? <laughs> he only paid me seventy-five dollars. Like, hey, I need to on my back. Like, Damn, man, you know the Rock. Rock used to live in Nashville. He went to Hunters Lane. He went to high school in Nashville. And Stone Cold. And Stone Cold. Man, and Stone, yeah. Cold. Stone Cold was my nigga. Yeah, that's crazy, man. The longer the Rock is famous, the more blacker he becomes as people tell the story. <laughs> Have you noticed that? Why you say that? Like all the black shit, like the more famous he was. Because he played it in Miami. Yeah, and it's all kind of yeah. black shit coming out. Like, man, I remember The Rock came over to the house and took my auntie on a date, man. <laughs> <laughs> Real nigga. <laughs> Now what? In four years, man, be like, yeah, he used to be over here in the hood all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He was running, he was flagging yeah. down cars and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was slanging with story. him. Yeah, he gonna be one of them. Yeah. 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 He ain't gonna admit to it, though. Maybe he will, I don't know. You never know, man. Yeah. Never shit know. crazy. Nigga had a jury curl. Facts. And a, and a fucking drug dealer pouch. Yeah. <laughs> He had yeah. a turtleneck and a hair and bone. You can't say he ain't For sure, he did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You feel me? Nigga and a hair and bone. Come on, man. Yeah. Do we claim it? Do we? He say he black. Yeah, he when it's convenient. Do we? This nigga got a cousin that look exactly like him, Mary. You seen that motherfucker? Nah. The stunt dog? Mm. This nigga got a cousin that he had to do all the stunts. <laughs> like his real fucking cousin. <laughs> No, you know, like, you have to use uh, the stage yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. That's comedy right there, man. <laughs> nah, keep the shit in the family. <laughs> nah, man. You he be doing some dangerous <laughs> shit then. Rock got some dangerous shit going on. Where's the rock? Yeah. Ain't nobody. Nobody gonna fuck with the rock, bro. Nobody. Not yeah, for real. Not for real. Yeah. Vin Diesel? No. Nah. Fuck no. I bet Ving Rains, baby boy Ving Rains will try to rock. Nah, man, ain't nobody trying to. It's certain motherfuckers on the planet ain't never getting trapped, bro. He want up. He want up. Mike Tyson. Fucking trap. Oh, nah, you flexing out here. ain't even just Michael, about to Michael walk with this nigga. Some yeah. niggas just ain't gonna get trapped, bro. They say he about to get in a ring with uh, <laughs> no, Jake Powell. Yeah. Mike Tyson, man, he's told him, nah, fuck you. It's Mike Tyson. He shouldn't. Pl please put him in there with Mike Tyson. Please. All All so you don't want to see that. That'll yes, be, I do. That'll be yeah, like Mike Tyson. Tyson. Yes, yeah. I do. Put, <laughs> please let Mike Tyson whoop the shit out of the, the Logan family. Both of them. Both of them. Yeah. They talk so much. Back to back. Back to back. Back to back. Mike gonna do this shit with Sam Knight. Too. Man, Mike might come out like, you remember the Mike Tyson biography that Michael J. White did? When he came in the room, he said, nigga, you got 30 seconds to knock me out. And he let the dude just, the dude was just standing there and he was like, what? He started counting, dude <laughs> trying to knock him out. He got the 30, he just hit the dude one time. Woo! <laughs> Look at the clip up. Michael J. White is fucking Mike Tyson. He see did a whole biography movie. I ain't no Damn. My nigga got the sound effects with the. Fuck <laughs> 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 You gotta have all the sound man, effects when you tell the story. So that team getting trapped. Man. I feel you though. A lot, I feel you. A lot of them. Mike ain't getting trapped. Mike ain't the Rock trapped. wouldn't try Mike. No. Mike wouldn't try to rock. No. It's a mutual respect. The Undertaker yeah. wouldn't try to rock. None of these motherfuckers that they wrestle with, they oh, nah, 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 nah. Like Goldberg. Goldberg tried to rock. You remember no, him? 
You don't think yeah, Stone Cold is trying? No. Yes. No, no. no. Yeah. Stone Cold. Stone Cold is Stone Cold. Cold. Stone Cold don't want no smoke at this right. point. Okay, at this think point. Yeah. He was he was already a grown man with a knee brace when you <laughs> he built for this. Nigga, nigga, granddaddy is still lifting weight. Well, you not about to whoop them niggas. And, and they from them islands where you, you can't get tired and shit. <laughs> Can't do nothing with them. Huh? He can't do nothing with them. Oh, some more people. Yeah. Man, <laughs> motherfucker, take the top of your head off. <laughs> Think about this shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, man, I've been eating Slim and Hustle Pizza, and I'm full. That's why I'm talking so much shit. If you ain't had nothing, you need to get some, bro. Y'all got no coupon? <laughs> you don't need no coupon, Well, you man. know black people love the coupon, yeah. bro. We got specials, though. We got yeah. the special. We got the $10 tools, day. Put the special on the coupon, on, and then they come man. in there. Hey, y'all doing this, right? Hey, it's right. <laughs> y'all still doing this. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you good, man. I just got this. Boy, two years old. Hey, man, you're still. Oh, shit. Boy, necessary. Is it necessary? Oh, shit. Yeah. We got coupons. If you put it that way, they're on social media, though. Twitter Tuesday. Twitter Tuesday. College night on Wednesdays. How much do college night pieces? Then they get like a $10 slim and a drink. And so, you gotta throw that drink in there. Throw that out in the wrong way, clean it up. Make sure you yeah, get it. Hey, you got the hang of your Hey, man, look out for the college students. I you know, know they be home, man. man. Yeah, man. Was we was that, for yeah. real. We was, even playing football, we was still. Y'all was on that meal program? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They was getting y'all just enough to stay in school, huh? <laughs> nah, you know, training table. We, it was, every now and then, we had one, but... They Arby's roast beef sandwiches every day after camp. <laughs> we had that shit true. for like three true. weeks straight, bro. We're going to serve true. pizza, ain't it? Huh? Serve pizza. Serve pizza. They used to give us an Arby's, uh, Papa John's. Yeah. yeah we ate a lot of that shit. Yeah. yeah. At the camp. Yeah. For sure. Y'all expanding? Yeah, man. What's some cities y'all looking into getting into? Uh, Chat, Chat, Chat is up next. next. Chattanooga up next. Okay, bet. Uh, that'll be that'll be mm, spring 2022. Okay. Birmingham. We just bought a building down in Birmingham. Right. Uh, so we'll be down there end of this year. Uh, we looked at we're looking at Jackson, Mississippi. Actually. Look at Oxford, man. Yeah. Oxford, man. Well, old Mississippi. Yeah, yeah. That's where I'm from. Okay. Yeah, that ain't far from Memphis either. Mm mm. Yeah. That's some money up there. Yeah, we're gonna expand, yeah. do some expanding in Memphis, <coughs> uh, Charlotte, Houston, Dallas, Southeast, Southwest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're gonna stay in that area, right. man. That's where. We uh, That's where the love is, man. We're looking to get into retail. Yeah, yeah. So next thing you'll see from us is Slimmer Huskies in your grocery store. Yeah. We already do the online. You can buy it online. Ship it in a day. Get to you. But uh. We want to be in a. We want to be a household name. Yeah. That's how we plan it. Yeah. Let's go to the frozen section. You will see Slim Huskies in there. Mm -hmm. Three black dudes on the box. Got to pick it up for the for the for the young for the culture. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Got to. We already in the stadiums. Yeah. Nissan. Where the Nissan um, uh, stadium where the Titans play. Uh, FedEx, FedEx Grizzlies. Grizzlies. Memphis Grizzlies. Got John Moran on the side of our building. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. We're gonna keep growing, man. Vanderbilt. We in there. Drop all that shit. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, shit, what else? What shit. else we got going? Hey, we, official, we got merch. Official pizza, 85 South Show. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. 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 We gotta talk about that. Yeah, man. Working on some things over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Old cheesy bread coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I put y'all up on all this. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. You know the ins and outs of what I saw. Some of that Domino's knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Just call me, you know. All right, we gotta get you in the lab, bro. Nah, we do gotta get you in there for real, man. Right, Come up with crazy. some shit. Yeah. 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 I go crazy. Gotta blow one before you get in there. That's, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Making good Sicilians and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I use the words like that. <laughs> things of that nature. Yeah, put you up on, you know, we might even. Come up with a new deep dish style of African American pizza. Okay. Yeah. What that? Yeah. What, what would that look like? You already know what it's gonna look like. <laughs> it's gonna look fat. When, when, when fat. The black people let you down. Aesthetic. Never. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Not so ever. Let you down. We, it's if, impossible. If it's one thing we know how to do. We know how to make, make shit good. look. Yeah, yeah. You feel yeah. me? Make For real. Good. Anything. Yeah. 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 We're gonna take this shit to the whole nother level. Everybody else got their shit. We just start claiming shit as. 
African-American. True, 100%. Yeah. yeah. That's what we believe in, 100%. African-American peace. Yeah. Yeah. Black peace. Black peace. African-American ramen. All that. I think you can do some black. What y'all feel like eating tonight? Man, I could really go for some African American. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I see how you put that together, yeah, man. That's real. That's real. Cause it ain't that. Like you go on Uber, it's Chinese. You know what I'm saying? Or Asian, whatever they say. Mexican. You know, Italian. Italian. No African American. Damn. And don't say say they do got a black on section, but it it's, yeah, that's not like it's not like a genre of food yeah, like you know, African American. Yeah. yeah. What's the first thing you putting on that? On African American? Shh. Slim Huskies. Taste? Yeah. Besides, but but after that, because black people got our own taco. We got our own we type of taco. Yeah. yeah. Taco meal out there in LA. We had these tacos. That shit is. It's I'm talking about like it's black taco. Amazing African American home. On the home. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 And the best yeah. taco. Oh, whatever's left, taco salad. <laughs> 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 what about hamburgers? You already know. I'm a black, skillet. black hamburger so fat, bro. Yeah, for sure. When you cook I'm hamburgers right. at the crib, man, like, you're going to make sure that motherfucker fire. True. Especially if you've gotten so hungry that you just can't fucking take it no more. That's something that's <laughs> Tell the truth. Would you, yeah, put a, would, you put a, good would you put a fried yeah. bologna sandwich on there? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. in America. Yeah. Slice this yeah, way. Yeah, slice. Or, which slice? How you slicing them? What you mean? When you slice it, when you put the cheese so on, you take it out. Nah, I cook, I cook mine all the way through, red stripes still on. Straight up? I don't cut the middle until I'm ready to pull it out of the... Really? Damn. Why so? Why so? <laughs> I want, I want, you know how it's gonna bubble up. Yeah. That's what's gonna give it the crisp in the sandwich. Then okay. when you cut the middle and you lay it down on the bread. Really? You yeah. got the crisp all the way around the sandwich. And you leave the red yeah. on it. To, you don't pull that off until the sandwich is made. Then you pull that over the sandwich to bless it. <laughs> That's Oxford style right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody know that. From the outside, and you pull the sandwich through that. That's how you bless it. Damn. You put cheese on your own? It oh. depends. Right, bro, everybody know with cheese and without cheese hit way different. Yeah. That's true. That's, That's real. real. That's real. Without cheese, probably. Probably I feel like it, it better than I feel like the cheese. It's, I like the bologna sandwich is better when there's less ingredient. That's real. It's just enough mayo just to probably hit like one side of the bread. Yeah. Then you have to overcompensate with the mustard. You wouldn't normally use this much mustard. Hold on, mayo or Miracle Whip, though? Miracle Whip. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what right. I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you were saying. Really, we yeah. at the end of the month. Ain't yeah. even that. It's really yeah. just mustard. <laughs> <laughs> Miracle Whip been gone. Huh? <laughs> Go. That was all we can have. You got more on your knuckle than on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> True. In that drive with that butter knife. Yo, that's funny. Hey, back in the day, a husky nigga put some relish on that motherfucker, bro, some pickles. No, I ain't putting no relish on my own. A husky nigga eat sandwich spread. True, I, had, yeah. I, I, I do have some sandwich spread. Exactly. Right we as black people don't need yeah. to know exactly what that is. True. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Thousand Island. To you. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. <laughs> Everything thousand dollar though. The McDonald's. Yeah, it's same thing. It's, Big Mac thousand. Big Mac thousand dollar. See, it ain't that though. It's five, six different kinds of sauces. <laughs> that they know. You know that could be Chick Fil A sauce. That could be anything. I mean, true, but I'm gonna stick with thousand dollar. This shit. Chipotle mayo. White people tell me. Oh shit. What you else? Know, that's the nigga said African American. African American food is good. Yeah, that's real. The spaghetti. Oh, the spaghetti in African American household is it's one meal. It's African in the pot. African American spaghetti hit different. Hit different. Yeah. yeah. Depending Actually, on what region, not one meal. South your people it from it's totally different. Ingredients may vary. Yeah. Is it one meal? South South you all might throw old hot sausages in that bitch. For sure. For no more sausage. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I've seen black people get so bougie with the spaghetti they were really making African American Italian spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> segregated from oh, yeah. I, I, that ain't what this won't allow me to eat. Yeah, you gotta put it all in together. Yeah. 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 It's spaghetti aside of one meal. Spaghetti is both. Mm -hmm. 
It depends on what you put spaghetti with. So spaghetti could with be fish. a main yeah. or a guest. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Spaghetti <laughs> is a big compliment. Fish uh, and spaghetti. Shit. These motherfuckers are co headlining. <laughs> hey, in the video, you gotta have them both, though. What? In the video, like fish and spaghetti. Oh, yeah, fish and spaghetti go together. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's yeah, a thing. But if your granny called you and said, Baby, I made some spaghetti and some garlic bread, you ain't gonna be like, What? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, just yeah, gonna yeah. go get you a big ass bowl of that spaghetti and ain't yeah. gonna let nobody fuck with it. <laughs> and it's gonna be fine. Yeah. Yeah. And it's gonna be fine. They're gonna be putting the goddamn spaghetti on that bread. One pot. <laughs> You know, real niggas, you never had a spaghetti sandwich. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah. That's when you're hungry. Yeah. You are in high school, you're 16. Yeah, true, though. Everybody in this room thought they invented the spaghetti sandwich. Man, come on. Yeah, of course. <laughs> thought that was yours. <laughs> this, hold on, though. Two pieces of bread, or you putting the spaghetti on it and making it join like a taco. Folding this shit Folding up. Folding this man. shit up. Hit different. Mm-hmm. Hit different. Yeah. <laughs> African American taco. Black kids, you remember when you had to make that, that butter bread with the sugar and shit? Yes. Oh, we don't even have an official name for that. Butter bread. Sugar bread. Sugar bread, sugar butter bread. Yeah. Man, shit, I thought bread. I was making French toast. This is all good American food. American food. 100%. You even count it. Hell yeah. Damn. Did you measure your sugar on your Kool-Aid or you just pour it in? Uh-uh. You knew it. You eyeball. felt it. Eyeball. Eyeball. My grandma showed me. I know how much I'm supposed to be. White people who are pouring Kool-Aid don't even know how to make it. Oh, shit, yo. <laughs> Did you put your Kool-Aid in the, um, your Kool-Aid, just mix your Kool-Aid and sugar, no water, nothing, just have it in a Ziploc bag, just run around, dipping that joint. Yeah, I saw yeah. Kool-Aid came when I was a kid. So Kool Aid came. Kool Aid came. Damn. Kool Aid came. Yeah, I had a nice little Kool Aid empire. Man, that's some real shit, though. We should really do that, though. Yeah. For real. Like, it should be. Yeah. African American food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, you remember them ghetto ass birthday cakes you used to get? Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying bro. to get them. If we would have had innocent, somebody's mama should have been making them lopsided. Lopsided them. They taste better than any cake that you have ever had in your life. 100%. Adult, now they go crazy with the birthday cakes. I don't need all that. Fuck that. Cake and ice cream. That was a birthday cake. Yeah. That your mama made that fell in the middle. She didn't have no edges. Moist, though. Fine. Shit, it tastes a little egg in there, Johnny. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so much blood in the ice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Everybody has started the line. Get on birthday cakes. An imperfect cakes really made in somebody's crib. That ain't the thing, man. They, you got to go crazy. You got to have dollar bills on the birthday cake. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like uh, something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 One name. Name. <laughs> Not even enough candles. <laughs> What you feel me? <laughs> Ran out of candles. Ran out of candles. You 12, yeah. two candles. Like, One, two. Like yeah. Pay attention to shit like that. Turn it down like a motherfucker. Man, about six. You get old. Can't even work it right, huh? <laughs> True. You feel me? Hot dogs, chips. That was it. That's it, man. Damn. Yeah. That's all we needed, though. That's it. That's all we needed. It ain't that ain't that no more. You gotta go all out for a kid's birthday now. They want to eat seafood and go get some lobster balls and shit. <laughs> These kids like to eat root crisps. For birthdays. <laughs> for a sixth birthday. Try fry right. Damn. Yeah. I bought you. <laughs> Grown people shit. Grown people food. Yeah, but we definitely got to start us an index of African-American food that need to be accounted for. Yeah. That's a, yeah. For sure. Don't nothing taste better than baby shower meatballs. <laughs> 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 you racking up. <laughs> hey, that is a full oh, play for the meatballs. Baby shower meatballs do be fine. Baby shower meatballs. It do be fine. <laughs> they don't never disappoint. Damn. Yeah. Baby shower meatballs are way different. Yeah. yeah. They sure do. That shit is. Just well, imagine your girl text you like, hey, what you cook? Oh, I miss baby shower with me, bro. You're on the way. way. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the way. Oh, when 
and mix it together with the, with the sauce of the man. That shit do hit. Yeah. Husky. The Rotel, Husky the Rotel and the meatballs here, so yeah. yeah. See? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rotel, I don't even know if white people know about this shit. I don't think so. I've never, I've never seen that in the White household. Mm. Rotel. They just eat the shit right out the jar. You want some cheese? <laughs> 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 hey, when you in the grocery store aisle and the Rotel gone, man, you be like, niggas don't came and get out of the Rotel. Somebody throwing a cookout on barbecue, something. You Tostitos know what I'm saying? Doritos. Doritos? Yeah. Doritos, I remember when that shit was a luxury in the black community. Man, for mm. real, though. For real. That wasn't always, cool, yeah. though. All that shit. <coughs> Preacher hey, cool. The rap snacks be fire. Rap Snakes do yeah, be fun. Shout out to Rap yeah. Snakes. Yeah. Yeah. Rap Snakes hit like more. Yeah. They got a season right. I'm about to try to get me some. You, want, are you a Rap Snake? I mean, I just feel like. You should. You should. My Mr. Ghetto Dreams. I've yeah. always wanted my own barbecue potato chips in some form of the passenger. What's the game be special about them? That motherfucker's delicious. <laughs> 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 Mississippi barbecue. You ever eat some chips? Like, like, the best ever. Like, oh, I ain't gonna have some more of that shit on the. Oh, shit. The best ever barbecue shit. Hit. Yo, that's so funny. Come on, bottle water, man. Yeah, man. That'd probably be the name of it. Eat motherfuckers good. Appreciate it. And let them know where they can look y'all up, man, and become part of this, you know, this family that y'all grown. Because everybody who, who's had the Slim and Husky Pizza seem to love. Yeah, man. Follow us everywhere Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, at Slim and Huskies. Uh, man, to order the pizzas, if you don't live in the Ville, if you don't live in Atlanta or Memphis, or uh, shout out to Sacramento, California, yeah. Oak Park. If you don't live in those areas where we located, <coughs> man, make sure to go to slimhussies.com, order the frozen. You can get a two pack, a four pack, get the cinnamon rolls, 24 hours, we got you. Hell yeah, yeah, do me a favor, y'all. In the comments, let them know where they need to put a Slim and Husky. Tell us the city where you want to see a pop up in. These men are expanding like hell. You never know. They might just randomly pick one of these cities. Like, man, you know these. Like, hey, y'all <laughs> Squirrel nuts, Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> right, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. This has been another episode of the Black Market. The Black Market is good.